Okay, I've said that uh, today is not really a day to take too many notes. So we're just going to be learning a little bit about what physics is all about. So uh, I do want you though to take out a piece of paper and uh, as I go through these questions I want you to make a check mark if you think you can answer the question. And then when I get finished with all of this I want you to total up those check marks to find out just how much do you know about physics before we start our series of lessons on it. So the numbers that are in front of these questions are the various uh, lesson numbers. So to start off from lesson number nine, uh, why was chlorine gas used in World War I? From lesson number 20, uh, why are you safe inside of a metal car during a lightning storm. Okay, then from lesson 21, why is a bird not electrocuted when it lands on a high powered line? So those uh, high powered lines are like at 10,000 volts, but yet a bird can land on that line and not be electrocuted. So the question is why? From lesson 22, what keeps the Earth's atmosphere from blowing off into outer space? From lesson number 14, how can you shatter a glass with your voice? From lesson number 15, how does sound travel through the air? From lesson number 16, how does the human ear work? From lesson 17, what is the electromagnetic spectrum? From lesson number 18, how can you cheat at miniature golf? So this is assuming that you've got a mirror. Okay, from lesson number 19, why do you see different colors when oil is floating on top of water? From lesson number two, why should you wear seat belts? From lesson number three, how can you tell how deep a well is? And let's assume you've got a rock and you've got a stopwatch. From lesson number four, why should you not try to flip a bowling ball with your finger? From lesson number five, how much force is exerted on a bat during a home run? From lesson number six, why is the highest hill on a roller coaster always at the beginning of the ride? From lesson number seven, which is easier to spin, a solid disc or a ring? Now they're both gonna be the same mass, and they're both going to be the same radius, but which one would be easier to get spinning? From lesson number eight, why do astronauts look weightless when they are in their space station orbiting the Earth? And then from lesson number nine, how does a nuclear power plant work? Okay, so total up your check marks and find out just how much you know about physics right now. And then we could take this quiz again at the end of this series of videos and see how much you've learned. Okay, we're going to take a break. When we come back, we're going to talk about the power of science.